Kaplunk wipes the floor with this game. In cyberspace, an evil multinational runs a city in the future. There's a million different characters, you are one of them. Millions of people, millions of places, millions of puzzles. In fact, there's only one thing I can think of that's larger. Cyberspace is a bit daunting and can probably only be recommended to PC users who have had experience of RPGs in the past. To lessen your heartache at our imminent departure, we have exclusive previews of what will undoubtedly be the two hottest Amiga games of the summer. First up, a long time ago when I was still in shorts, there was a classic shoot 'em up on the C64 called Euridium. Andrew Braybrook, the game's Wunder programmer, comes up with the sequel over ten years later. This one involves the, the return of these giant dreadnought type spaceships and they have to be attacked by a lone manta craft. The manta, instead of landing, on the ship transforms into a robot which smashes through the surface and you continue the battle inside the spaceship. Project X, I've been playing that a lot. I really do enjoy playing that game, but it only scrolls very slowly. This time, it's the whole screen that's moving very, very quickly. And I think that, that's very important. We really are going for high speed this time. Before Sensible Soccer exploded onto the scene, Kickoff 2 was everybody's favourite footballing fantasy. The game's designer Dino Dini is about to restake his claim to soccer supremacy with goal. Things that it brings into the game that weren't in Kickoff 2 are, for example, acceleration and deceleration of players, um, and screen flipping, and you can switch between a close-up view of the pitch or a far-out view of the pitch. The goalkeepers are very intelligent. Uh, but a greater realism is in, has been introduced in that goalkeepers have their own attributes. Uh, every team, the goalkeeper, will behave in a slightly different way. In uh, kickoff two and kickoff, the control system was difficult to master as far as dribbling was concerned. Um, in goal, when you are running slowly, it is far easier to control the ball when you're running quickly. It makes it easier for people who are starting out on the game for the first time. Finally, Electronic Arts, the king of the sports sims, are about to bring out Michael Jordan in flight. The list of game ever, here's a peek into the making of the game. Well, this game provides so many camera angles, like a sports broadcast, that in order to make these guys look 3D on the court, we have to shoot them from all the angles they might be seen from. And because of the 3D angles, you may look, see the action that the cameraman sees, because he can zoom in. Uh, from any angle, which is what this game allows you to do. It's a complete three-dimensional representation of the game of basketball. Once Michael and the other characters have been filmed in every single position, it was time to put the film into the game. And once we get the real, you know, once we get the real video footage in there that we shot today, it's going to look, you know, as close as it can to real TV. You know, those principles you taught us about defense fundamentals. You know, we can put that stuff in. And jump in your face. Oh. Our celebrity guests thought those reviews and features were a joy to behold. All they'd like now is a little challenge to round things off. Let's comply with their craving and go over to Games Master. For the evening's second challenge, I have come for an ice hockey encounter on NHLPA hockey. Contestants have one two-minute period in which to pack in the back. Vigorous boxing is highly recommended, but don't do it too close to the referee, as you might be sent to the sin bin. Peace off. We have an extra special celebrity challenge this week. For the first time ever, the two great sporting disciplines of hockey and ice hockey meet in a head-to-head -head clash. So please welcome Great Britain ice hockey star Kevin Conway on Britain's... Welcome to the show, Kevin. Yeah. All right. Welcome, Sean. Hi. Now, I'll turn to you first of all. This is your game. Surely you've got to be the favourite tonight. Yeah, are, no, you, uh, are you good at all this stuff? Uh, I get my fair... <laughs> <laughs> I get my fair, fair share of penalty minutes. Okay. Well, 
quite a clean player by comparison. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we play a real man's game because we've <laughs> got no, none of all stuff. this. I mean, <laughs> look at all that stuff, really. I think, um, I think you're very brave. I mean, you're, you're playing away from home in a yeah. matter of speaking tonight, Sean. You've had a couple of goes at the game. Now, how do you fancy your chances? I've got a couple of ploys. Beat him up and put it in the net. <laughs> all right. Well, it looks like we're all set for a bruising battle on the ice here. If you'd like to see who wins the battle of the hockey disciplines, join us after the break. for a ferocious head-to-head -head here on NHLPA Hockey. We have Great Britain ice hockey star against Great Britain hockey star Sean Curley. With me at ringside is Neil West from Mega. Welcome, Neil. Hi, Dominic. This is a brilliant game, Neil, isn't it? It's a fantastic game, but the two teams aren't. They really are quite appalling. They do the NHL what Guns N' Roses do for opera. But it's still possible <laughs> to score goals. All they've got to do is back down the side, pass it back in, they should be OK. And if that fails, just have a good ruck. That's what I want. Okay then, so what it is, we are going to play one period. Whoever scores the most goals wins the game. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Best of luck to both of you, and off you go. Okay, Sean Curley is playing San Jose, playing up the pitch in the white, and Kevin Comey's in the red, playing down as okay. Ottawa. Ottawa have got possession straight away, doing okay. Comes going, tries a shot. Oh, it's padded off by the goalkeeper. Down he goes. Them. Penalty. Oh, dear. Straight away, they're playing dirty. Straight away, that's one of Sean's in the sin bin. OK, so what do I have the power play? For the benefit of viewers at home, a power play means that Ottawa have got one more man on the pitch than San Jose. So the other team have really got to make the most okay, of it while they've got the advantage. And most of the pressure is on the San Jose goal. OK, they're going back. Kevin Conway is Ottawa. He's got a defensive player yeah. again. You see that D by his name. That means he's a defenseman. He really should be sticking back by his own goal, passing the ball up the puck. Sorry the other players so they can score. Okay, now here, here comes, comes Kevin Conway, as Ottawa like here. It. Oh, took it a little bit too far there, Neil. Okay. Here comes San Jose. Oh, oh, over he goes. Lovely bit of stick work there from Kevin Conway. As now he's got the rebound. Can he follow up? No, no he not can. quite. Sean Cudley's defence holds rest. Now here comes Sean. He's bringing okay. with a defenceman, though. Yeah. Well, but so, it's so what they the really side. should try and do is take a player with the puck round the back of their opponent's goal. Right. The goalie will be lured off his line. They can then flick it, flick it back to the middle of the pitch, and then it should be an open goal. Right, build up the attack. Pass it up the pitch to the centre. Oh. Good goal! Classic. Oh, keep it one way, shifted the other way, Absolutely. and slotted it into the right hand side of the goal. That's the way to score goals in NHLPA hockey. Classic stuff. 1 0 to Kevin Conway. Can Sean come back? Here we have the ice off. And here comes Sean in attack. Lovely little pass there. Sage of sides. Oh, but a dirty right play. Wing takes him out there. And here it's Ottawa. Kevin Conway on the attack once more. Lovely bit of weaving here. Oh, but the defence has got it back. Lovely tackle there. It's up to the left wing, they've switched sides, it's on the right wing now. Can he pass he it back in? Oh, there the was no one there. The the no one there. No one there. No one in now, but here's Ottawa as we speak on the counter attack. Open oh, the goal, goalie the goalie's down. The goalie's on his feet. The goalie doesn't take any crap in this game. He, <laughs> he does certainly he? does not, no. Oh, but he's okay, taken the safe ball. Now he's got to get that away quick or else he gets oh, gone for a penalty. Oh, lovely play. Oh, beautiful yeah. passing from Sean Cully. One pass too many, though, but he's got to get in the defence. He's, he's got an open shot. No. Right, the, shot, the goal is on the ground, but no one's there to follow up. Oh, Here he comes up. Didn't oh, no. Pick it up. Oh, he's got pressure again. And that's it. The final that's the end of the period. Ottawa win 1 0, which means Kevin Conway is tonight's winner. <laughs> I'm going to go to you first of all, Sean. I tell you, you were getting some beautifully intricate passing going there, but you couldn't find the back of the net. No, no, that was a bizarre problem, wasn't it, in the Olympics recently. <laughs> it was, so uh, it goes with the form. Was it a little bit rough for you in the end? Yeah, skillful, I think. Skillful, skillful more than rough. Well, a testament to your skill there, Kevin. But I guess we had to show them. I guess it's a man's <laughs> yeah, sport. Well, you certainly did show them tonight because Kevin Conway is tonight's celebrity winner of the Golden Games Master Joystick! <laughs> And Kevin Conway! Yeah. While Kevin caresses his golden joystick and Sean glares enviously on, we'll deal with the queries on everybody's lips in the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. What can I do for you? On New Zealand's story on the Mega Drive, I keep dying very quickly. 
Is there any way to get more continues? You're in luck, for indeed there is. On the title page, rotate the joypad clockwise. You should now be the proud owner of five brand new continues, allowing you to further into the game. Thank you very much. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. In Goblins 2, I found the door near the fountain, but I can't open it. What should I do? The answer lies in the wizard's house. On the floor, in front of the fire, is an animal rug. Get a Winkle to step on his tail while Fingers bravely reaches in and snatches the box of matches. Use these to light the fire under the teapot and then fill it up with your bottle of water so that the evaporating water peels back the picture on the wall, revealing a hidden key. Blow out the flames under the teapot and use this key to wind up the cuckoo clock, which will reveal yet another key. It is this key that will open the door near the fountain. Thanks. That little revelation brings our communions to a close. Do heed my advice. Chromedome seems in fine fertile this evening. Before he hangs up his helmet for the night, let's go back to him for the final challenge. This is indeed a melancholy moment. The last challenge for this series of Games Master. But instead of wallowing in sadness, I decided to go out with a bang on the gory and unfeasibly violent arcade beat-em-up Mortal Kombat. You know the rules by now. The first person to achieve two victories wins the contest. Fight dirty. And uh, see you anon. For this ferocious bout of pugilism, we have two of the country's leading ninjutsu experts. Please welcome Andy Thomas and Jim MacGyver. <laughs> now, Andy, first of all, tell us a bit about your martial arts experience. I've been studying and teaching ninjutsu for eight years, and I trained the Grandmaster in Japan and Brian McCarthy, chief European instructor. Okay, is this where you picked up your footwear that you're wearing here? Oh, yes, this brilliant footwear. This is Tabe. This is for stealthy infiltration techniques, which was the hallmark of the ninjutsu practitioner. All right. Now, Jim, are you a bit of a stealthy character yourself? Uh, I've been training for 18 years, and I'm involved in karate, kickboxing, and jiu-jitsu, and I've trained under many different masters. Okay, so I'm not going to bother picking a fight with either of you guys today. All I'll do is ask you to take your places by the machine and we'll get ready to fight. NMS main man Tim Boone is with me tonight. Welcome, Tim. Peace on you, Dominic. All right. Now, listen, Tim, this game's not for the squeamish, is it? No, not at all. This game is very bad. I mean, the guys in this game are so tough they could give you some trouble. <laughs> now, listen, um, Andy is playing with Raiden in this. I rather fancy Raiden because he can do those little electricity bursts. No chance, no chance. Sub Zero's your man. He's ice cool and he's got a brilliant special move. All right, that's who Jim's playing. It's a best of three bout. Obviously, the first person to two wins the golden joystick. Are our two competitors ready? Then come out fighting. Okay, so Andy Thomas is Raiden, who's the straw-hatted fellow in the black and white on the left. Jim McIver is Sub-Zero, the rather cool blue and black combo on the right. The energy bars at the top of the screen show you Straight how... Straight in with a nice the... attack, and here he goes. Now he's got to do his move in and finish off. But he wasn't fast enough. Okay, this is Sub-Zero's speciality then, Tim, is yeah, it? Yeah, that's ice? right. What he does is he frees this guy with the ice and then moves in for the kill. But he must move in he's, now. He's done that's it again. It. That's yeah. it. Frozen then got a little kick there. Look at that. So look, look at him. The blood is, is flying. It's this guy's good. Is. This guy's good. Okay, Watch out. Now, Raiden's yep. coming back a little bit, though. We can see the energy bars. Yep. Is Raiden going to hit back with his own special it's attack? It's very even, I see that. Oh, Raiden's won it. That was a steal. That was a steal. That was a steal. Sub-Zero had it, I thought. So it's first bout to Andy Thomas. And Sub-Zero straight with the ice. He's got to move in for that. That's it. And, and again, got, got from behind there. That's a another beautiful nice move. Oh, another another little little back. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, Raiden that's it. Raiden Raiden back Raiden with back with a super spark, but again, he's, he's out. Oh, he tries. He tries. These guys are messing about. They're getting straight in there. They There's plenty are. of blood it's here. Still very, very close. Yep. You can see the energy bars at the yep. top there. And and oh, he disappeared and materialised there. Another fancy yep. trick. Sub Zero for should be. Yes. Oh, fast punches. Excellent. Fast punches are high. Sub Zero wins. One by all. This is the decider. Okay. okay, I think they're obviously sizing each other up now. And it's a big, a big throw. From from Sub-Zero's Sub looking good. 
Oh, yeah, oh lovely good. little fast volley of punches Excellent. there from Sub Zero. Straight in from the top. Oh, oh a little knee there from Raiden. Yep. Oh, still, and oh no, he's closing him. him. Sub Zero's closing him. He's got the fast oh, punches. Oh, he's almost there. A couple more hits. Finish him off. He's That's done. it. He's finished him. Sub Zero wins. So that means Jim wins the golden joystick. Now, Andy, you had a brilliant start. You were one boat up. Then what happened? I don't know. You just sort of iced me out, you know? I think we should do it for real next time. I think I'll get my lad. I don't think I want anything to do with that particular one. Um, what can I say, Jim? What was the secret of your success, do you think? Well, I have got 10 years' experience in martial arts over Andy, so I think that really helped me out today. So it was experience that won the day. Well, Jim, your experience has won you not only the boat, but also the Games Master Gold Joystick! <laughs> and Jim MacGyver. Well, well, that's the dinner gong, which means it's supper time on the rig. Andy Mauritius. I'm sorry about that, I'm just hearing news that Andy Mauritius has in fact blown up a brand new pine fitted kitchen. It's a disaster of epic proportions. Hopefully we'll be back next week. In the meantime, if there are any old age pensioners on the rig, I'm getting off first. Good night. As I dash for the lifeboat, leaving Auntie Marisha floundering in my wake, I've just got time to tell you, you can still join the Games Master Club. Members receive badges, stickers, posters and other paraphernalia. To join, send a cheque or post Lord of Four, £11.15 to the Games Master Club, PO Box 91, London E14, 9GT. Or if writing's a hassle, call 0891 600 123. Calls cost 36p a minute cheap rate and 48p a minute at all other times. You must have permission before you make the call.